Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to, um, I guess you say it's first impressions, but really it's just playing and testing out Glam Light for the very first time. So we have some pizza and we have some dessert. So this is actually a foodie box and you would think it was filled with food, like those um, mystery food boxes, but it's actually from Glam Light and my best friend actually got me both of these so she got me this for my birthday um and then she ordered this for me for christmas so i have never played with glam light before i have never really played i haven't even played with this eyeshadow palette since my birthday which was in november so i'm excited the only thing i did try is a lip gloss and it was a lip gloss that she got when she got me the palette and I just kind of quickly put it on and I liked it. So yeah, so now it's really time to kind of dig in and play with everything. So if you guys are just as curious as me, then keep on watching. Do not mind my hair, guys. I just washed it last night, so it's kind of just like, I didn't get a chance to straighten it or curl it or crimp it or anything. So it's kind of just doing its own thing right now. Um, so I did majority of my makeup. I did foundation, concealer, powder, bronzer, blush, eyebrow, um everything else is going to be with the box we're going to open this bad boy up and in here you oh, you actually get quite a few like items in here so i'm going to go ahead and show you everything and then we can get into actually playing with everything so one of the biggest things in the box is an eyeshadow palette and this is the glam donut eyeshadow palette so we're going to be playing with her. We get the Sugar High, um, and this is actually a highlighter. So hence the word high, highlighter. Um, so yeah, so you get a highlighter, which is a loose powder. Um, and then you get two lip products. So one of the products is a lip glaze, um, and it's their donut lip glaze. And then you get their caramel frappe. Um, and this is like a lip gloss as well, but it's like a way more pigmented. So I have tried this one already. She actually got me this separate when she got me the pizza palette. She didn't know that this was going to be included in this box as well. So now I have two, but they smell amazing. So I'm actually going to try the donut glaze today. Then you also get a brush. So this is a powder brush. I'm not going to be using this brush today, but I definitely will open it up. Super excited. Oh my god, this is like so cool. So I don't know if you can see that, like what the inside of the brush looks like, but that is like so cool looking. I actually, like it's super soft, um, so I cannot wait to start using this brush for either, I think I can see myself using it for powder. Um, it's definitely a nice powder brush, so yeah. And then you do get a nice card um, with the founder, and then you get like a little discount code on the back. And then last but not least, we get lashes. So one of the lashes is the strawberry lashes. Aren't these like the prettiest things ever? I probably will wear these today because they're a little bit more subtle. And I do have to take Liana to a doctor's appointment. So my makeup is probably not going to be full glam, like straight up, you know, like bold eye. But I really, really would love to do that. Like I'm, I really don't mind playing with color. I know I don't do it a lot on my channel, but I love playing with color. So... I can go ahead and make that a future video of like really doing like a nice colorful look with these um, eyeshadow palettes. And then I mean, maybe I can even try the second pair of lashes then. So this one is the um, cupcake lashes. So these are a little bit more full or a little bit more dramatic, um, but they're still very pretty. Okay, so this is what the highlighter looks like. I did open it up already. So if it looks a little open, it's because I was, I didn't play with it or touch it, but I did open it. All right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to put like a little bit into the cap. We got there. We are going to just apply. Ooh, I need a mirror. Okay, so it is a little chunky. It's not like a smooth um, highlight. Like it's more of like a chunky glitter. It's still very, very pretty. Um, I feel like it's something that I would maybe wear to like you know, the pool or maybe stuff like for some cool pictures. Um, it's not a highlight I gravitate to all the time, 
but it's still very pretty. I can even see this as like a beautiful eyeshadow topper as well. So I would definitely get my use out of it. I'm not gonna put too much all over my face because it is like, I know mean, it's hard to see, but it is like really like, kind of like just sparse and chunky. Here it looks smooth, but in person it's more like, just like glitter, but it's really, really pretty. And it's fine glitter. It's not, you know, like huge chunky glitter. So, but it's really pretty. And I don't know if this comes in a shade. This is in the shade. Well, I guess the shade is sugar high. So that's what the shade is called. And it's like a gold reflexy. So next we're gonna dip into the eyeshadow. So the eyeshadow, this is the pizza palette and i'm sure you guys kind of know about this palette because it was all over the internet when it first came out um which doesn't just make you like so hungry for pizza um i really wanted to dip into both like both palettes but i honestly think i'm going to maybe save this one for like a different video um and like i said maybe we can do something fun and colorful um, just because there is a lot of like cool colors in here and I really want to play with this because I'm going to my daughter's doctor's appointment and we actually have to leave kind of soon not soon soon but kind of soon so um, I think I'm just gonna do something simple today I know I'm sorry guys um, so these two colors here are shouting my name you know they are um, but I still want to play with like the rest of these colors like these blues and purples like so fun but I really want to test these out too and I really like that they put these two colors in here for those people who want to experiment with colors but will also get use out of it when just staying in their comfort zone so that's really nice of them so I'm just going to take a fluffy crease brush and what's nice is you do get like a mirror so that's cool so I'm just going to start off with a light amount even though I topped off my brush holy cow and that brown is coming off red <laughs> Like it's not, it looks more of a brown. And then this is the color, so it's like, whoa. I mean, it blended like butter though, so holy cow. I'm just gonna take another brush and just kind of diffuse the edges there. Yeah, these colors are so smooth. So I think I'm gonna go into the shade here, which is Sausage, just to kind of, and I'm just gonna use a different brush. Just to kind of see if I can get some like dimension and some okay so this one's coming off just like that brown that I wanted it to be and even this shade for a brown like sometimes I have trouble with the browns and eyeshadow palettes even this shade is like so pretty I love food and I love makeup so this is just a great combo although this does make me super hungry and I haven't ate breakfast yet so Next, I'm just going to go ahead and take this like shimmery um, gold bronzy shade. It's like a bronzy shade. I'm just going to use my finger and just kind of, ooh, that is pretty. Oh my God. Wow. And it feels like butter. Like I wish you guys could like, and look at that. Holy cow. Look at guys, just like literally one swipe. And like, cause you know how like sometimes it looks nice on your finger and then you like put it on and it's still like all on your finger, but like nothing that's on your eyelid. That's how it felt like when I dug into it, I thought it was like, oh, it's one of those shades that feel soft and buttery, but just don't leave your finger, but no. And like, I bet you, yeah, like it's still coming off crazy. All right, next I'm just gonna dip into Sausage again under my eye. And then I'm actually gonna take some in my inner corner. I'm actually gonna take some of this highlight. Hopefully I don't get it like in my eye. Ooh, look at that, so pretty. That is seriously so pretty. Actually, I kind of want to just take it. Oh, just when you think it can't get any prettier. Whoa. So pretty. 
All right, so very quickly, I'm going to apply some mascara. This is just from Billy Beauty. So I'm just going to do a very thin coat on my top and lower lashes. And then I'm gonna take my lash glue from um, Birdie Lashes. It's the Birdie Liner in black. I'm gonna apply the glue and then we're gonna apply the lashes. Um, I'll do the lashes on camera so you can kind of see. Um, but yeah, be right back. These are what the lashes look like outside of the, the snow plow is here. So if you hear that, that's what that is. Um, but this is what the lashes look like outside of the box. They do have little tabs on each end that you do have to like trim off or not they're gonna poke you in the eye but i like when the lashes do have that extra the lashes do have the extra stems on the end because then you can pull them out of the plastic easier um, and not damage the lashes but yeah that's what they look like so they most likely will need to be trimmed um i'm just measuring them now i did already apply the mascara i just need to apply the glue I always see how much so I do need to take some off the ends I always take some off the ends and not the, the in the beginning I always start by doing just one like cluster at a time just so I can see okay I think that would work all right so I'm gonna apply some glue <clears throat> I did already like bend the lash band to make sure it's nice and flexible. These are a thicker lash band though. So if you like the thin, almost invisible bands, then you might not like these. I'm going to pop it on. And there we go. Could have chopped off a little bit more just so the inner corner wasn't, I don't like it when it's so much like into the inner corner. But I mean, they had to feel comfortable. So, and they were so easy to apply. So I'm gonna do the other eye. All right, lashes are on. We are looking a little dramatic, but that's okay. I feel like I haven't worn lashes in so long, so I feel like I'm just like, who are you? Okay. <laughs> so next, last but not least, we are just gonna try the donut lip glaze and see. Oh, this is so pretty. Mm. Smells sweet. Mm. So pretty. And I think in person, in person, like you can see the shimmer, but it's not like chunky glitter. And it feels smooth. Like you can't even feel the glitter in it, but it just makes your lips look so juicy and yummy and glazed. So good. Oh, and just very quickly, I loved all the products. There was nothing I really hated. This wasn't really much of a review. It is kind of first impressions because it's the first time I'm using it. I didn't like want the video to be like a first impressions, you know, it was just me testing it out, playing with it, having fun with it for the first time. Um, but yeah, I loved everything. The eyeshadows went on smoothly. They're pigmented. They blended really well. So I think they're great eyeshadows for beginners. Um, these eyelashes are super comfortable. Like you can't even feel them even though they are a little bit more dramatic. And the lip gloss, I'm loving. All right, guys, that is everything. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell right there. Just subscribe. Um, I would love for you to join the family. I do upload three times a week, Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays, all different types of videos. I do makeup, I do um, hauls, declutters, vlogs, you know, just a whole bunch of different things. As well as if you like this video or like these types of videos, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Oh, and just wanted to do a little disclaimer. I know my nails look like complete crap with me getting sick, going back to work, working full time, being a mom to a one-year-old, um, being a wife, you know, taking care of the husband, taking care of the house. Like 
I do a lot plus YouTube. Uploading three times a week is like basically having a part-time job. So this is the last video that you'll see with my nails looking like complete crap. I have not had a chance to go to the salon yet um, and I do not have time to just sit and soak off my nails. If you have a one-year-old child or you had experience with having kids, you know mommy can't just sit and have her nails soaking for like 30 minutes. Take off acrylics. So someone did go ahead and comment that and um, yeah, if you have kids, you know that that's not really the case. So I will go ahead and see you guys in my next video. Please be safe. Be kind, and until next time, bye guys.